before you went from getting having a clue to your first case, first taking on the bank? Okay. And well, how I, has I, it escalated? Okay, I should mention that I've been in finance for 30 years. Yeah. Okay, so I was, you know, so I, I've been dealing with the banks a lot for, for, for the first 10 years of my, you know, career, whatever. And so when I was 33, I ran into this all capital letters thing. And then by 37, um, you know, I was I was definitely looking into the bank and what they do with the paperwork and going, wow, that's that's really weird. And I started realizing, wow, like they're they're actually selling all these debts and not telling anybody. So what happened is that we started bringing it to the marketplace and finding, wow, the the, the institutional lawyers we're not playing fair. They simply were taking away our due process. Now we're asking real life questions and we're bringing this up to now about 2007 to 2011, right? That we're asking real live questions to these bank lawyers who should be answering our reasonable questions and they're not. And, and we started realizing, well, wow, they, they can't beat us in from, from the perspective of of what's right and what's wrong they can just bully us so as time went on we started realizing the only way they won't bully us now and this is going now into 2014 is if we created um a website that unitedwestandpeople.com and and bring the people with us and ex and and expose it basically and and that's where it all came came to is that we start realizing well it's great to know all this stuff intellectually mm -hmm. but to apply it now is another thing we'll make you know application to it and and that's what we've done i think that's the number one thing we've done different than everybody else is we actually are phoning the banks recording it bringing it to youtube um and and we are getting results because now those lawyers are a lot of them will drop the file with the bank because they don't want to be on, you know, on YouTube, right? Or, or, or they just bury the file. They just treat it differently. They actually give us our due process. That's truly what they do. And so before you know it, um, you're in a position where you can now negotiate from a power position because it's not that you don't have the money to hand over to them. It's that they don't have the proper documentation to collect, right? When you're dealing with the banks. In other words, they're in the wrong. You're not. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you've done everything you possibly could. You've even served them paperwork in our system. We serve them paperwork and mm -hmm. let them know that we are asking for proof of ownership of the debt and we are the authorized agents, unitedwestandpeople.com. So they have it in writing. And so now it's not the it's not the, the, the Canadian doing this. It's it's actually people that work with us. We have a team and and we're and now they're dealing with, with entities who know how to how to deal with their bully tactics. And you see, the number one thing of the bank and, and, and insurance policy, all these big institutions, is that they have policy and they want you to believe their policy trumps Canadian law and common sense business practices. And that's not true, right? Their policy is their policy, right? And they, they will state these policies, but if you know how to respond to that, such as, well, your policies don't trump Canadian law, obviously, right? It, it starts to it starts to bring us down this road where where oh my you know they start realizing wow these guys are right they're sticking their ground we don't have the proper documentation and then we get to negotiate with them from a power position so there's all these neat things that happen from that but the, but I think the main thing of, of of our interview was more about you know how the capital letters mm -hmm. how that integrates into our world. And there's a lot of people out there that know the capital letters idea, the straw man idea exists. There's lots of them. But I think this takes them to the next level where they start putting the two and two together with commerce and mm -hmm. how the world market is truly tapping into it through our signatures on, um, mm -hmm. you know, bank, paperwork, loans, um, you know, insurance policies, our court decisions.